Hey, Natalie, has my son filled you in on the details yet? I told him to relay my message to you. May I ask, what exactly was Elias supposed to talk to me about? What else? About the awesome family vacation we've got lined up for next month? I can already feel it's gonna be an absolute blast and make some unforgettable memories. Oh yes, I know about the trip. In fact, I was there when our whole family discussed about it. Do you remember? So, we're all heading to Charleston, South Carolina, right? I'm genuinely excited about it and can't wait for the trip. It's gonna be such a wonderful time with the whole family together. Why are you so enthusiastic about the vacation? Hold on. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're also considering joining me and my family on this trip. That was the initial plan, wasn't it? It's you, Elias, Anna's family, along with you and your husband all joining the trip. That's what we all agreed upon, right? Hey. Listen, I don't know where you got that idea, but you're not tagging along with us, Natalie. Let's keep this under wraps, all right? If my son finds out, he'll go off on me like last time. That's why I'm only discussing this with you in private. I hope you get where I'm coming from. What? But isn't this supposed to be a family trip? And if that's the case, why can I come along with you and the rest of our family? Look, I'm gonna be real with you, okay? My husband and I are not getting any younger, and we want to make the most of these family trips while we still can. That's why it's important for me to have my immediate family around me for as long as possible. And when I say family, I just want my husband, my dear son, my daughter, and her kids. To put it simply, I want to be surrounded by those who share the same blood as me. So, let me get this straight. You're saying that Anna's husband and I aren't welcome to join you in the family trip? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's right. I'm glad you caught on to the situation so fast. But don't you think it's a bit unfair to us? I mean, Anna's husband and I are already married into your family, so we're also part of the family, you know? Plus, I've already gone ahead and made hotel reservations for our entire family. It's this charming boutique hotel called the Enchanted Haven, and I'm confident you'll love it once you see it. What? You've already gone ahead and booked the hotels? Who gave you the authority to do that? How dare you go behind my back and pull such a sneaky move? Don't you remember, Kimberly? We had a family gathering just last week, specifically to discuss our vacation plans. And we all agreed that I should be the one responsible for making the hotel reservations. So that's exactly what I did. But that was last week and a lot has changed since then. I made a new decision and I've decided that I won't let anyone outside of my family join this trip. After all, isn't the term family trip supposed to mean just that? It's exclusively for those within my family, not outsiders like you and Anna's husband. Honestly, I'm confident that my husband, as well as your husband, wouldn't agree with this. I'm pretty sure they would say no to the idea of leaving anyone in our family behind, including me and Anna's husband. Family should stick together, right? So here's the deal. You gotta play the role of the good daughter-in-law and keep mom about it. No need to spill all the beans that I'm the one who doesn't want you to come along to our vacation trip. Just say you're tied up with something, or have other plans. I trust you're clever enough to come up with a little lie, right? It's not rocket science, if you really put your mind to it. Wait! Hold on a second! Why are you asking me to lie? That's just not who I am, you know? We all understand that lying isn't a good thing to do to anyone, don't you agree? Plus. I know for a fact that my husband would be really disappointed if I couldn't go on the vacation with him and the rest of our family. And let's not forget Anna. I'm pretty sure she'd be upset if her husband suddenly decided not to join the trip too. Let's be honest and consider everyone's feelings here. Hey, why are you always so negative? Let's try to look at the bright side for once, okay? If you and Anna's husband skip the trip, we can save a lot of money. That means our expenses will be way lower, which is a pretty sweet deal, right? And think about it. My family will be way more relaxed and comfortable without any outsiders to bother them. It's all about creating a cozy and peaceful atmosphere, you know? But Kimberly, Elias and I have been married for more than 10 years now. That's a significant amount of time, you know? Don't you think it makes me a part of the family by now? No matter if it's been 10 years or even 20 years, the truth is, you're still a stranger to me. No matter how much you try, I just can't bring myself to see you as a part of my family. But don't be too downhearted. 
that's just how it goes when you're a wife and daughter-in-law. It's the reality we're dealing with, so you better start getting used to it. Look, you still get invited to all the major family events like weddings and birthdays and stuff. Isn't that good enough for you? What more do you even want? Well, I guess. What about the hotel reservations? Should I cancel all of them? Well, no need to worry, silly. Just go ahead and cancel the hotel reservations for two people, all right? You know, you and Anna's husband. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's my good daughter-in-law. If only you decided to stay home from the start, I wouldn't have had to spend my precious time convincing you like this. Oh, and here's a little heads up. Don't you even think about going behind my back and telling Elias that I didn't want you to join our family on this trip. Got it? If you want to go ahead and do that, you'll just be painting me as the evil mother-in-law, you know? Well, I'll think about it. Honestly, Elias keeps nagging me about how I should treat you better. But here's the thing, I'm always the one making an effort to politely ask you to stay away from my family. I just don't understand it, you know? Maybe it's because you've been telling my son behind his back that I'm some horrible mother-in-law who bullies her daughter-in-law. That's the only explanation I can think of. What are you talking about? I would never say anything negative about you to anyone behind your back. Hmm, alright. If that's how you want it, I'll drop the subject, but let me make one thing clear. Don't even consider running to your husband and complaining about all this. I swear, if he calls me one more time whining about how I treat you, I'll have a serious problem with you. You should really grasp the fact that you're an outsider by now. You see, I reserve kindness and respect for those who are connected to me by blood. Since we're not related, you don't get a single drop of kindness or respect from me. Hey, Natalie, can we chat for a sec? I want to talk to you about something. It's regarding those hotel reservations you made for my family. Yes, Kimberly. What about that? I'm listening to you. Hey, listen up. I think you'll have to cancel those reservations you made for my family. Oh? Why so? You know, I went ahead and booked rooms at another hotel instead. Here's the thing. I did some digging and found that the hotel you picked just isn't the right fit for me. I mean, come on, didn't you do any research at all? It's this tiny, old, and downright unattractive place with shoddy amenities. Honestly, why on earth would you expect me to stay in that dump? It's even less comfortable than a pig farm, if you ask me. Well, just to clarify, it's actually a four-star hotel with fancy custom-made furnishings, a rooftop bar and pool, a spa, and a restaurant with a brasserie-style vibe. But no worries. I've already taken care of everything and canceled the reservation since I won't be going anyway. How could you even suggest something as ridiculous as me staying in a cheap, dilapidated four-star hotel? Didn't you forget? I'm your mother-in-law and I deserve nothing but the absolute best. Listen, I stumbled upon this incredible five-star resort called Azure Haven Resort and Spa. It's got some top-notch spa treatments and mouth-watering culinary delights. That's why I went ahead and made reservations at that hotel. And guess what? I put your name and number under the reservations instead. Wait, you did what? Why on earth would you go ahead and do that? You totally caught me off guard with this unexpected move. Yep, you heard me right. And since you're the one who made the reservation, you're also expected to cover all the expenses. But don't worry. It's not too much of a big deal, my dear. It's just a mere $1,500 per night. No sweat, right? What? $1,500 per night? That's insanely expensive, Kimberly. I don't think I can handle such a hefty price tag. Oh, I totally forgot to mention. It's actually $1,500 per night for each person. And guess what? We have a grand total of seven people. Me, my husband, your husband, my daughter, and her three kids. So... You do the math. I think they might have some sort of discount for kids, but I can't say for sure. Anyway, I kindly request that you take care of the entire accommodation expenses. We're counting on you, Natalie. Wait, Kimberly, can we please have a conversation about this before jumping to any conclusions? I don't think it's fair to expect me to cover all the accommodation expenses for a trip that I'm not even allowed to be part of. Can we find a more equitable solution together? What's with all the complaining? You're the outsider here, remember? If you really want to show that you're a valuable member of this family, then you better do as I say and cover the cost for the resort stay. Oh, 
And since you're the one handling the hotel expenses, why not fund the entire trip while you're at it? You know, meals, transportation, activities, attractions, and all that jazz. It would be best if you just send me the money and I'll take care of all those expenses on your behalf. So, how does that plan sound to you? What? The entire trip? That's gonna be quite expensive, you know? So what's the big deal? You're working, aren't you? I mean, you have a job and make your own money, so you should be able to afford the trip, right? Oh, and here's the thing. My whole family goes on this trip. No one will be home to look after the house for me. That's why I'm gonna need you to stay at my place and keep an eye on things. Just make sure you clean the whole house and take care of the garden too. I want the entire house to be sparkling clean when I get back. All right, it's settled then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go shopping for the upcoming trip. I'll catch up with you later. Hold on a sec, Kimberly. We really need to have a talk about this. You can't just make all the decisions by yourself without considering everyone else's input. Hey there, Kimberly. I hope you're listening. Can you please respond to me? Hey, Natalie. Do you have any idea what day it is today? It's the day when my entire family heads out for a vacation trip together. <laughs> Just a reminder, can you be super responsible as a daughter-in-law and keep an eye on the house while we're away? I want it to be spotless when my family returns. But hey, don't take it personally. It's just that you're not a blood relative and that kind of makes you different from the rest of my family. Listen, Kimberly, I'm really sorry, but I can make it over to watch the house for you right now. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, and it's keeping me pretty busy. What's going on? You're my daughter-in-law and you're married to my son. Your main responsibility is to take care of the house and serve your husband's parents. So don't you dare tell me that you're too busy or incapable of fulfilling those basic tasks. To be honest, I'm not home right now. In fact, I'm already on a family vacation of my own. Oh, really? And what kind of family vacation are you talking about? Last time I checked, you don't even have a family. Why do you think I don't have a family, huh? Is it because you always manage to snatch away my so-called family from me? Come on, spill the beans. How many times have you skinned to mess with me and my hobby's relationship? Be honest, now. Do you secretly wish Elias would divorce me? Is that what you've been longing for all along? What's with all this nonsense you're spouting? Cut it out with your twisted interpretations, okay? Are you trying to bully your own mother-in-law? Well, let me tell you something. I'm going straight to Elias and filling him in on this, and he better put you in your place for daring to speak so disrespectfully to me. I'll make sure you choke on those words like a sharp knife. Oh, why do you think my accusations are baseless? Seriously? Did you conveniently forget about the time when my husband got sick and had to stay in the hospital? And the sneaky little trap you laid out for me? Huh? What are you even blabbering about? Cut it out with your lies because nobody's gonna fall for that nonsense. So now you're acting clueless, huh? Well, let me refresh your memory about what actually went down. You claimed you'd cook something decent for my husband, but you ended up torching it to a crisp, making it almost charcoal-like. And then you had the audacity to tell my husband that it was the meal I made for him. As if that wasn't enough, you had the nerve to mock me, saying I wasn't good enough to be his wife just because I couldn't cook a decent meal. What was all that nonsense about? What, are you seriously telling me you're still holding a grudge against me for that? It was just me trying to school you on how to act like a proper daughter-in-law, that's all. Oh, so it was a lesson, huh? More like straight-up bullying and a display of your deep-seated hatred for me. Thankfully, I was clever enough to make you spill the beans. I had a little chat with you on the phone and put it on speaker, making sure my husband heard all about your wicked scheme. You sly fox. I've been racking my brain wondering how in the world Elias found out the truth about who really cooked that meal. And now I know. It was you all along, wasn't it? You shamefully framed me for your own twisted satisfaction. I can't believe the lengths you went just to make me look bad. Nah, Kimberly. I was just dishing out a little taste of your own medicine. And I'm pretty sure you remember what else you said during our lovely phone chat, right? You conveniently spat out that I was some kind of outsider who deserved to be treated like garbage. Don't even try to act like those horrible words just magically slip your mind. Wait, seriously? You still got all those tiny details locked in your brain? Come on, how much more petty and vindictive can you get? Enough with holding on to all that resentment, man. 
learned to let go already. It just makes you look small and even more pathetic if you ask me. Let's just say it's a lesson I won't be forgetting anytime soon. It taught me not to trust a single thing you say or follow any of your instructions ever again. That's why I made up my mind to spill the beans to my husband about you pressuring me to stay home instead of joining the rest of the family on our vacation trip. I clearly warned you not to breathe a word to Elias about that. How dare you have the audacity to go behind my back and pull off such a deceitful stunt. You've crossed the line and I won't let you get away with this. Well, I had to do what I had to do to look out for myself. You put me in a spot where lying was my only way out. But that's not really my style, you know. Oh boy, you should have seen the look in Elias's face when I laid out the whole story to him. I swear, I could almost see steam coming out of his ears. He straight up told me he's super disappointed in you and that he never wants to talk to you again. Ouch, that's got a sting. Wait, what in the world are you blabbering about? Why in the universe would my son ever refuse to talk to me? You're just spouting nonsense, right? I know you're just cooking up some lies to split me and my son apart, aren't you? You won't succeed with your manipulative games. Well, unfortunately for you, Every single word I told you is true. In fact, Elias has already made up his mind and decided not to join you on the family vacation. Hold up, he's not tagging along with me and the rest of my family? So where is he then? Wait a sec, don't tell me he's on a trip with you. Yep, you got it. Elias is right here with me and my parents too. We're not in Charleston, South Carolina at the moment, so no need to stress about that. Actually, we decided to hit up a few European countries because Elias managed to snag some serious time off from work. See, I've got more family than just yours, and I'm done trying to earn your recognition as a family member. If you want to treat me like a complete stranger, fine by me. Whoa, hold your horses. A couple of European countries? Are you kidding me? Give my son back right now. I'm dead serious. He needs to go on this vacation trip with me and my family because, hello, he's my son and a part of our family. He should be by my side, not gallivanting around with some random stranger like you. I'm his mother for crying out loud. Hey, ever taken a moment to pause and consider if your own family actually enjoys having you around? Quit fooling yourself, thinking you're the be-all and end-all of the universe. Listen, your husband, son, and daughter have had it up to here with your selfishness and all-about-me attitude. Seriously? It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. Oh, please. My family adores having me around. No doubt about it. I mean, can you even find a woman who's more caring and loving than me? I'm like the epitome of an incredible wife and mother. The absolute best there is on this planet. And don't even get me started on all the food I've sent our son or the sweaters I've knitted for my loved ones. It's obvious I go above and beyond for my family. Yeah, it's crystal clear what a hypocrite you are. Do you honestly believe your own family is cool with their blatant discrimination against me? You constantly dish out that passive-aggressive vibe, while always trying to show off your superiority and leaving me out of the most important family events. And why? Just to prove some point that I'm not part of the family, huh? Give me a break. You ungrateful little brat. Don't you even think for a second that I'm clueless about you sneaking bites of the food I sent for my son, you thief. Cut the nonsense and hand my son back to me, because I'm done playing games. No more joking around. Well, here's a news flash for you. Not only Elias, but Anna and your husband also decided to stay home instead of tagging along on your so-called family trip. So, I hope you enjoy your grand adventure all by your lonesome, because nobody's gonna join you. Have a blast! What kind of sick joke is this? How on earth did my entire family suddenly betray me like this? It's not fair at all. What have I done to deserve this? And you, you wicked witch. This is all you're doing. Get lost and stay out of our family business. You're nothing but an outsider and you don't belong here. Oh, really? Now? Are you absolutely certain about that? Because I heard through the grapevine that your husband and daughter are planning to move out of the house real soon. That means you'll be flying solo, Kimberly. Just you and your lonesome self. Oh, no. This can't be real. What about the plane tickets I already paid for? And all the reservations I made? Natalie, please, I'm begging you. Help me convince my family to come back. Natalie? Are you there? After learning that her entire family had chosen not to join her in the family trip, 
Kimberly decided to cancel all the reservations and flights, resulting in a significant financial loss. To make matters worse, her daughter and husband moved out of the house, leaving her alone. Despite the divorce, Kimberly's husband showed kindness by leaving the house to her and moving in with Anna's family instead. Kimberly pleaded with her family for forgiveness, but her pleas fell on deaf ears. They were completely fed up with her lies and deceitful behavior, to the point where they ignored all her texts and calls, filled with resentment towards me. She attempted to cause trouble at my workplace, but was soon after arrested. Meanwhile, Elias and I are enjoying the best time of our lives. We travel together and cherish each other's company. In a joyful turn of events, we received the wonderful news that I'm pregnant with Elias and we can't wait to share this news with my father-in-law and sister-in-law.